Hello, everyone, and welcome to our podcast series. My name is Natalie Tornisi, and I am the Senior Group Manager for Outsource Strategies International. I wanted to take this opportunity to go over reporting billing and coding for EEGs. An EEG, or electroencephalogram, is a non-invasive test that detects or records electrical patterns in the brain. An EEG is mainly used to detect potential problems associated with brain activity through electrodes that are attached at measured positions on the scalp, at rest, or at sleep. The electrical activity of the brain is shown as wavy lines on a recording, and these lines allow physicians to quickly assess whether there are abnormal patterns. The EEG will pick up on the brain waves, which may show irregularities of activity, amplitude, pattern, or speed. Any irregularity seen may be a sign of seizures or other metabolic brain disorders. In order to track and record brainwave patterns during an EEG, small flat metal discs called electrodes are attached to the scalp with wires. These electrodes analyze the electrical impulses in the brain by sending signals to a computer that record the results. Generally associated with certain brain disorders, the electrical brain measurement produced during an EEG are used to confirm or rule various associated conditions like seizure disorders such as epilepsy, dementia, memory issues, brain tumors, stroke, or brain damage from a head injury, uh, sleep disorders, encephalitis, and encephalopathy. In addition, the procedure is also performed to determine the level of brain activity when a person is in persistent coma and also can be used to monitor activity during brain surgery. The type of EEG requested by a neurospecialist will depend on the severity of the condition and extent of brain damage. The different types include a routine EEG, which is a basic test performed when a person suffers a seizure for the very first time. This is ideally performed within 24 hours after the occurrence of a seizure. seizure. A routine EEG can be done with or without video monitoring to evaluate whether a person has abnormal waves during specific movements of activities. An ambulatory EEG is a type of test where the patient needs to wear a specific equipment to record the various levels of brain activity on a continuous basis so that patients can go about their normal activities. A sleep EEG or sleep-deprived EEG is generally used to test for sleep disorders. The procedure may be used if a routine EEG does not give enough information. Video telemetry, also called a video EEG, is a special type of EEG where a patient is filmed while an EEG recording is taken to provide more information about brain activity. As part of the procedure, the EEG signals are transmitted wirelessly to a computer and the video is recorded by the computer and kept under regular surveillance by trained staff. An EEG for most people does not pose any significant risks. The electrodes used for an EEG only pick up electrical charges. They do not emit electricity and they are harmless. In rare cases, an EEG can cause seizures in patients suffering from a seizure disorder. When a person with epilepsy or another seizure disorder undergoes an EEG, the stimuli presented during the test, such as a flashing light, may cause a seizure. However, the neurologist performing the EEG can safely manage any situation that might occur during the procedure. During an EEG test, uh, which is typically performed on an outpatient basis in a hospital or clinic, usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes or as many as 24 hours to several days if you're in the hospital, so that actual brain waves can be measured. In some cases of extended monitoring, patients may be admitted to the hospital for a few days. Patients will feel little or no discomfort as the electrodes may just record the brain waves and do not transmit any sensations. Patients may be asked to lie down on their back in a reclining chair or on a bed. The EEG technician will measure the patient's head and mark the scalp with a special pencil to indicate the area wherein the electrodes need to be attached. Those spots are scrubbed with a sticky gel adhesive that helps the electrodes get a high-quality reading of the recording. The technician will attach about 16 to 25 electrodes to spots on the scalp. They are connected with wires to an instrument that amplifies the brain waves and converts the electrical impulses into visual patterns that appear on a computer screen. Once the electrodes are in place, the EEG typically takes up to 60 minutes. 
On the other hand, testing for certain conditions require patients to sleep during the test. In these cases, of course, the test can take a longer time. Patients can relax in a comfortable position with their eyes closed during the test. However, at times during the course of the procedure, the technician may instruct the patient to open and close their eyes, breathe deeply for a few minutes, read a few paragraphs, and look at the flashing stimuli. After the test is complete, the technician will remove the electrodes from the scalp. During this test, the video is recorded where the patient's body motions are captured while the EEG records the brain waves. This combined recording can help diagnose and treat in a more effective manner. Billing and coding for EEGs can be challenging as it involves numerous rules related to reporting the procedure accurately. Physicians administering the EEG must use the relevant CPT codes to bill for the procedure correctly. I will include a transcript of all associated CPT codes for this procedure along with this recording. I hope this helps, but always remember that documentation and a thorough knowledge of payer regulations and guidelines is critical to ensure accurate reimbursement for the procedures performed.